Welcome to AccuPause Point of Sale. Are you looking for a way to make your retail operation more efficient? We came to the right place. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you both the point of sale and the management side so you know if it'll be a good fit for you. Let's get started. All right, so what is on the screen now is the point of sale. Um, first things first, that giant AP in the middle there, that's going to be replaced by your own logo. And now I do have my 15 inch touch screen hooked up. Um, so I'm not going to have like a cursor running around, but I will explain what I'm pressing while I'm pressing it. Um, so first thing first, you're going to have four different ways that you actually can input an item for a transaction. The first way is through a barcode scan. Second way is actually typing in that item number or UPC in the bottom right corner there. We also do have item searches. So if you look at that cluster of buttons on the right hand side, bottom middle, you're going to see item search. Let's select that here. Um, and I'm going to search up shirt. So you're able to search up both the name of the items as well as the descriptions. And it's going to pull up, you know, all the shirts that I have here. So I'm just going to select a shirt to add that to the transaction. Now, the fourth and final way is actually those buttons that you see on the screen. Now, what is really nice is those buttons are 100% customizable. So really, you, the way you should think about it is whatever would be most efficient for you. Like right here on my main page, I do have discounts like military discount, first responder discounts for quick discount buttons, as well as items. I'm going to select household here. As you can see, you can fill up the page with as many items as you really need. Of course, this looks kind of busy. Um, so we do offer pages within pages. So I'm going to click clothing here. And then from clothing, I can then select hats, and select whichever hats that you need for that transaction. I'm going to add a baseball cap and a fedora. Now the point of sale is going to do everything you need it to do. It's going to do price checks, sales discounts, canceling out sales returns. Some other cool things it can do though, is if you look at the bottom left corner of that cluster of buttons, you're going to see save order. You know, if you do have an individual who forgets their wallet in the car, or maybe a company calls you ahead of time, you know, hey, I'm going to pick up X, Y, and Z while I'm there in a couple of hours, you can save those orders. So I'm just going to save this under John, for instance. Now that transaction is going to clear out. That way you can keep things efficient, work the next person in line. When John comes back in with his wallet or, you know, when that company comes on in, we're going to hit load order in that same spot, select John, and then you're right back where you left off. With that, we do have customer pages. So if you look at the bottom right corner, um, you're going to see customer there. And now uh, I'm going to add new so we can kind of walk through that. But um, this is where you'd have their customer code, um, their email address, their address, their name. You're also able to put things like credit limits, discount percentages, and price levels onto individual customers. Um, this final page here is just going to be for notes. Uh, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to search up my demo Tom Hanks here. What is really nice is you do have the full history of the customer. I'm going to select history here. And it's going to bring up every transaction that they've done through AccuPause. So I'm just going to select the last receipt that we did. It's going to pull up exactly what they purchased, when, for how much, all that quick information. Um, so, you know, if you have someone who comes in who, hey, I bought this last time, I loved it, but I can't remember what it was, perfect, you can pull that information really quickly. Um, and here you can also print out receipts. So if you do have businesses that maybe have uh, business expenses and need that receipt printed, you can do that right here really quick. I'm going to add him into the transaction here. All right. Now I'm going to select over, select over to, um, all right. So taking payments. So in the top right corner, you're going to see take cash self-explanatory here. You're going to have quick selects on the left, type whatever you need into the middle there. Um, for credit card payments, we do integrate directly with WorldPay. You would use the EMV card reader button to send that transaction over to their device. Otherwise, you're not locked into that merchant service device. Um, you're going to go other pay in the top middle there. You would select Visa, Discover, MasterCard, whatever it happens to be, um, and then transfer that total over to the device that you're using. Now, what is really nice is if you do have a customer attached, you can use a set as a customer account, which would go towards their credit limit. Now we do integrate directly with QuickBooks and Sage here. Um, that would be for a separate video. I'll go in depth with that. 
But for those instances, you would actually be able to create an open invoice and send it back to your accounting software. I'm going to select that right now, customer account here, and then for that $50. Um, receipt options. So if you do have a customer with an email address, it's going to auto populate. Like for instance, I have the castaway at hanks.com. Otherwise you can then either print out a receipt, change that email, type whatever you need in there, or you can do no receipt. And I'm going to do no receipt since this is just a demo. Up in the top right corner, I'm going to select your shift. Um, this is where you can reopen orders, reprint receipts, do your clocking in, clocking out features. Um, and also you can do your X out and Z out reports. Now, a Z out report is when you do your end of day, counting your cash, managing your card transactions. What that will do is it's actually going to generate a summary report for the day that you'll be able to use with our reporting section, which I'll get to here in a moment with our management side. As you can see, we try and keep things easy and efficient from the point of sale. So if you do have new employees, you don't have to worry about, you know, extensive training or anything like that. We try and keep it as efficient as possible. But um, let's head on over to the management side. All right, we are now on the management side. Um, as you can see, we are on the dashboard. Now this is gonna be your landing page um, and it's gonna give you a nice brief overview of what's going on in the business for that day. As you can see here, you can have your sales revenue with your items as well as your discounts, your number of transactions that you've done, as well as your tender types. Um, now all this information, what's really nice is it's through a browser. So our software itself is gonna be downloaded directly onto your hardware. But all this information I'm about to show you is going to be able to be accessed via a browser. So we kind of have the best of both worlds between a locally housed software as well as a cloud service. Now, I mentioned that Z out summary report before. Um, you can do it here on the management side as well. So I'm going to take it down here. I'm going to show you what that would look like. I'm going to just say there is $100 in the till and I'm going to run it. Now, you are going to get a Z out summary report. This is going to have the day and time that it was run, your tender details, your starting cash versus your ending cash. You're going to see any kind of discrepancies almost immediately. Um, of course, your credit card totals, all your sales details, your discounts, just a really nice summary for the day. But beyond that, we do have a full reporting section. So I'm going to go reports here on the left. Pull that up now for general reports going to be able to pull out any of those Z out summary reports that you had You're going to be able to pull out any customer statements, employee hour reports, sales tax reports. Um, you are going to be able to pull up every transaction you ever do through Acupause um, and you can narrow it down by day and time, um, but you can also filter it by the employee who rung it out, the specific register they were under, the individual customer and even the amount if you remember that. I'll pick a day in the past so I can run that for you. <clears throat> And this is how it's going to look. It's going to have the transaction number, invoice number, if there was a customer attached, um, what they purchased, the tender types. And this transaction up here at the top is the one we just ran uh, just a moment ago. But even beyond that, you are going to have all your sales data you could ever need. So you're going to have, you know, by item, by hour of what is or is not selling. And this is going to be a great help for you to figure out the space within your location, making sure that's efficient or even, you know, helping forecast for items. So you'll be able to go, you know, back in the past. Hey, we're entering the spring. How did we do last year going into the spring or even the year before that? So you can help forecast inventory. And even on top of that, you are going to be able to pull out any of your customer lists um, as well as your inventory and items lists. So really, if you can think it, you're going to be able to find it here in the reporting section. Items wise. Um, so we do have a full inventory uh, and I'll show you how to add an item here. So if you do plus in the bottom right corner here, um, you're going to be able to add an item code that would be like your UPC item number an item description as well as an item price. You're going to be able to adjust what the type is, that category, how much quantity that you have on hand. You can even add a picture if you needed to, adding price levels, um, whether you want that to be tracked for your stocking. Um, you really you know, have an easy way of tracking each of your items. 
um, and you are able to search them up really quickly. I just hit the search button. And you're going to be able to pull up whatever you need um, to quickly edit, change. Um, that way it's going to be immediately put forth towards your point of sale. Now you are able to add a sales and promotions on top of that. So I'm going to look here, sales and promotions from advanced items. Um, and then I'm going to add a new one here. So you're able to do, you know, a percentage discount, like 25% off. You're going to be able to do item quantity discounts, like two for ones. You really are going to have a bunch of different ways that you can have a promo. And you can have it over a single item. So, you know, if you have something that you want to clearance out, get it out of your inventory, awesome. Or even buy an item type. If you want all clothing off, uh, maybe going into a certain time of season. And this can be set, you know, every single day. It could be set over a week a month, a year, you're going to be able to set it multiple years in advance if you wanted to, even by day of the week. So if you want to try and drive, you know, weekday traffic and then even by, you know, uh, time as well. So if you want to set up your own happy hour, for instance, you're able to do that. And again, you know, you will be able to access this via a browser. So, you know, you'll be able to set up a promotion on your phone in the morning and it'll be ready to go before you even get to work. Um, now you are going to have full control of everything that goes on. Um, so I'm going to go here to users. Now I have generic titles like bartender, manager, server, um, but you can have generic titles or the individual's names. Everyone will have their own login information. And you're going to be able to control both the point of sale and the web management. So from like a point of sale perspective, um, if you want to prevent refunds or prevent overriding credit limits, preventing returns, you're going to be able to restrict that without manager access. And then same thing with a web management side. If you want to make sure, you know, you have a manager to see the reporting so they know the business, but you really don't want them to be able to change permissions or um, change promos that you don't know about. You're going to be able to restrict that as well. And setting things up, one of the last things I'm going to show you, um, everything is essentially a drag and drop button system. Um, we try and keep things as simple as possible. You'll just set what each button means um, and whether it's a discount or an item, and then you'll be able to select the color of it, drag and drop it for where you would like it on the screen. So um, that is a brief overview of both the management side as well as the point of sale. Um, if this is going to interest you and you think this would be a good fit, um, give us a call here at 800-906-5010 or go to our website, acupause.com, and submit your information. I look forward to hearing from you.